hosting with the guests. Actually, you are our host. This is your event, and we're humbled uh, to be here at your uh, invitation and to be able to say a, a few words. The 98th anniversary of the massacre, deportation, forced marches of a million and a half Armenians stranded in the Syrian desert to starve, to die of thirst. It is the moral obligation of the United States, in my view, to recognize the Armenian genocide. And frankly, I view it as an embarrassment that we've not yet done it. That the United States Congress has not yet done it, despite the incredible efforts of the people you've heard from and others that you will hear from that we've not yet managed to formally recognize the Armenian genocide in the United States Congress by resolution, and that successive administrations in this country have yet to recognize the Armenian genocide. It is in the interest of Turkey, in my opinion, that this happened. Now, Turkey fights this tooth and nail. And they always have an occasion to point to some reason why this is not the right time to do it. But if you look at other countries that wanted to move in the direction of recognizing the Armenian genocide, and you heard all of these threats from Turkey about what that would mean to the relationship, when they move forward, notwithstanding that, Canada, France, other countries, in every instance, once they put this behind them, the relationship between Turkey and those countries has actually grown and developed. It would be the same in this instance if the United States would understand that it's part of our moral obligation to stand up and recognize the Armenian genocide. So I stand with you, as do all of those who you will hear from tonight, in saying thank you for pressing us on this issue, continuing to press us on this issue. In two years, we will celebrate, celebrate is obviously the wrong word, we will remember and commemorate this horrific tragedy. And if we can't get this done at that time, shame on us. We owe it to this incredible community, to the Armenian community. And let me close with this observation, because I see a lot of young people here this community is passing on the legacy of what happened in 1915 to the next generation, keeping the memory of it alive. And that's a tribute to the Armenian American community. Because it's the young people that are going to make sure, the people sitting here in the second and third row, it's you who are going to make sure that one day we do the right thing and we recognize the Armenian genocide. Thank you all very much.